hello guys in this tutorial video we are going to be talking about the theory of speed and how to calculate speed we would also learn the differences between speed and velocity i would also share with you what is called the average speed and velocity now without further ado let's get started but before then if you're new to our channel kindly hit the subscribe button like and share this video to other youtube learners okay speed now what is speed speed tells us how far something is moving now for example a car is traveling 30 meters per second so it means that for every second the car moves 30 meters okay now what is the formula for calculating speed okay so you have this formula as d equals to s t okay now the d stands for distance while the v i'm sorry the s stands for speed and the t stands for time okay so if you want to make the speed the subject of the formula all you need to do is we are going to divide both sides speed equals to distance over time okay now sometimes we can use velocity in place of speed in that sense the distance will change into displacement so we can use the simple formula in many ways okay now we are going to explain with another example now listen with this example you are going to understand very well if an object is moving at a speed of 10 meters per second how long will it have to take for a distance of 100 meters okay now here is asking us how long so we are looking for how long and that's time okay so time tells how long okay now so from the formula here we says distance equals to speed times time or you can use whichever formula it could be distance equals to speed times time or speed equals to distance over time okay so um here now the distance here is 10 meters sorry the distance here is 100 meters while the speed is 10 meters per seconds okay now what do you do you put values into the formula and then you divide both sides by 10 and what do you have you have one second okay one sec for example one sec now uh, if you look at this example very well you see that it will take the object it will take one sec to move the object for a distance of 100 meters okay now let's talk about the differences between speed and velocity don't forget the boat describe how fast something moves but there is a difference between them now let's look at this table the table is going to tell us the difference between speed and velocity so we have speed on this side and velocity on the other side now speed is a scalar quantity velocity is a vector quantity okay so speed is always positive while velocity can be positive or negative okay now speed here has magnitude while velocity has magnitude and direction in our last class or in one of the video i i explained very well the meaning or the differences between scalar and vector quantity okay so you can watch the video on it to explain and uh, to understand very well now we are going to take another example to explain the distance uh, the differences between speed and velocity very well okay now let's look at this example it says a train is moving at 45 meters per second 
all right now for our example if a train is moving at 45 meters per second in this case i am telling you how far it the train is moving not where it is going okay so that explains or describes speed because 45 meters per second only explain the magnitude but if the train is moving at 45 meters through west then this describes velocity because it has both magnitude and then it is moving west which signifies the direction of the train so in summary speed tells us how far something is moving but velocity not only tells you how far but to what direction is the object moving so if velocity equals negative 45 meters per second then speed will be positive 45 meters per second so i can say speed is the total value of velocity that is the absolute velocity so speed can be defined as absolute velocity there are some mathematical formula you need to know about speed and velocity there is something called average speed in physics you will need to calculate the average speed of an object as well as calculating average velocity of an ob of an object sorry now i'm going to take you through how to calculate average speed and average velocity now let's look at the formula for calculating average speed average speed equals total distances all over total time travel by the object okay you can as well see it as distance equals to speed times time okay now we can divide both sides by the time and then you have speed equals to distance all over time and then average speed equals total distance over total time that is very simple okay so now let's look at average velocity what is average velocity average velocity equals to displacement all over time that is you can have v equals to d all over t where d stands for displacement so the formula looks the same but they have different meaning now we are going to um, explain this concept using this example now look at this example it says a car travels 24 meters east and then it travels 40 meters west that means the car travels in a positive direction to the east that's tw uh, positive 24 meters to the east and then travels back okay so when something is coming back that's negative okay and then that, that adds negative 40 okay so the car is going this way and then it's moving the other way opposite where where it was going okay using a total time of four seconds okay so it's very easy now look at the diagram let me explain the diagram so the the, the car starts from rest at position a travels 24 meters to position b and then that's going west and then car turns back to position c in a distance of 40 meters now for example if you're asked to find the average speed how do you find the average speed now don't forget if you look up you see that the average speed equals the total distance equals or of uh, sorry total distance all over total time and what is the total distance here total distance is the the the, the journey from a to c so the journey from a to c the distances from a to c is seen as 24 meters plus 40 meters and that gives us 64 meters okay so the car has traveled the total journey of the car which is the total distance of the car is 24 meters plus 40 meters and that gives us 64 meters and they add what time at four sec seconds and then you have 64 all over four seconds which gives us average speed to be plus 16 meters per second so this is how to find the average speed it is very simple
okay now on the other side let's calculate the average velocity now the average velocity don't forget is displacement all over time now look at it listen very carefully now the the car travels a to b at what distance 24 meters that is positive 24 meters now the car returns back to the east sorry to the west at 40 meters that's the distance so it is going negative okay so in this sense we are going to add the distances together don't forget the first distance a to b is a positive 24 meters while from b to c is a negative 40 so when you had 24 plus open bracket minus 40 meters that gives you 16 meters per second that's a negative 16 meters per second okay so the average velocity equals to negative 16 meters per second all over four seconds which is the total time of the journey and that gives us a negative meters per seconds negative four meters per second so this is a simple way to determine average speed or to calculate average speed and also calculate average velocity it is very simple okay so um in a simple number line it's very simple okay now look at if the car is at if the car is at rest at a and then travels this journey travels to b at 24 meters that's positive okay and then returns back 40 meters okay to c okay now if you remove 24 from 40 all you have is 16 that's negative 16 okay so the position of the car the 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 the, the, the displacement means the final uh, the difference between the final position and the initial position of the car is at 40 while the initial position of the car at first is 24 so if you take it out you have what a negative 16 so it's very very simple i hope you've learned something today do not forget to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so that you can get first and videos like this educative videos like this like and share this video i'll see you in my next video bye bye